Hey everybody, how's it going? Hopefully everybody's having a good day here. We are fine here and we are ready to do some more bump and grind racing. Matchbox March Madness bracket style. I got Russell down here helping me at the races this morning. How are you today? Yeah? You're doing okay? Anyways, he's going to be bumping along with us here today. And more specifically, we got two more matches here set up ready to go teams 21 and 22 they're gonna go up against each other and then teams 23 and 24 are gonna follow um, we are making some progress through the bracket we finished the whole left side of the bracket and all those round two competitors are waiting for me to finish round one over here on the right side of the bracket um, in the last show we saw the Silverado Colorado dominate and get into round two then another your nightmare racing car and hot wheels calgary car the el camino they they're going to face off uh once and once we finish round one but anyways in this one here we got hopefully some good matches here um the mercedes wagon was taken by uh tired canadian and that is a house car the i think it's the 90 land rover 90 yep uh the petro pumper i'm not sure who took this one but uh, if you did, let me know in the comments and I'll start shouting you guys out. And the Glass King is another house car. Over here in our second matchup in the show, we got the Lambo truck. And that is another tired Canadian pick. He was all over the map putting money into all these racers. Then we got another house car. And that is the Mercedes Benz G Class. And the Evoke Two Boys One Toy Box. And the scenic bus had a number of owners on it, including uh, Big Charlie. He wanted the bus. Uh, who else? Uh, Michael Duzinski. He wanted the orange bus. And someone else was looking for that orange bus. It escapes me now. But anyways, a number of owners. There was three of them. There was three of them, three of them, three of them, three of them. Oh, Toon Tracks Racing. He wanted the orange bus as well for him and Jason. All right. Same rules as follows. I'll put the rules in the description below. If you guys haven't followed along already, I need four cars for this race. Each match is up to three points. And to get a point, just one racer needs to cross the line first before the other team does. And that is a point. And, of course, we have our rocks. They're not too heavy. These racers are just bashing right through them. They become more of a, a nuisance as the uh, rocks get a little further down and the cars started losing their speed. All right, let's see who's going to move on. One, two, three, go. And the Mercedes wagon and way out in front takes the full blunt of that, uh, those boulders and still manages to finish. And yeah, that's his that's his partner right behind him there both those cars getting through one nothing two boulders right there at the end of the track and got a little bit of debris here on the track i see so we'll pick up the petrol pumper the glass king would have broken all the glass that he was delivering there ending up on his side didn't quite see how that happened i would love to have another camera angle and the time and effort to edit all these crashes, but uh, I like racing too many cars and too many different races. All right, here we go. One nothing now for team 21, headed up by the Mercedes wagon. One, two, three, go. There's the Defender hitting the road first, and both the Defender and the Mercedes get to the line first. Glass King promising but just a little far behind and the petro pumper not quite making the line pretty exciting eh, can or russell it's pretty exciting pretty exciting eh <laughs> your brother russell is electing to watch some youtube upstairs of his own i meant to do this last night these three matches but uh i got watching some tv and some other guys's videos last night all right because they're 2 we give them the middle of the lane middle lanes one two three go 
Yeah, and Mercedes wagon runs away with it. Three nothing victory as those rocks weren't even touched there at the end. Okay, so these guys are gonna move on. Team 22, you guys unfortunately are gonna go in the big bag of mystery. And let's get this next match set up, but I gotta get the rocks back into formation. All right, our next matchup is at the top of the hill, ready to go. Lots of money on the orange scenic bus. A lot of owners looking to rake in the prize if they can move on. One, two, three, go. And it's the orange scenic bus way out in front, slims right through the rocks and gets the line first along with his partner. One rock eliminated. The Mercedes not able to finish the lap. Ooh, two rocks right back to back. Let me just make sure. Yeah, it's the both both oranges. Yeah, okay. Orange and orange are on the same team. The orange bus. Oh, good talking, Russell. A little color commentating. He's a little more vocal than my other co-host down there, Bales. Just sleeping, sleeping the time away. That's what he does. He's got no worries. One, two, three, go. And once again, the sneak school bus. Oh, he hits both rocks. <laughs> Sending them both right into the Lamborghini. And he ends up on his side, but he finished the lap first. So the Lambo. And the Mercedes are needing the help of the middle lanes. We haven't had a big comeback yet in round one. Let's see whether they can get a point. All you need a point, you just need a point. You need to get on the board. You need these other racers to have some accidents. One, two, three, go. Oh, the scenic school bus takes out the rocks, bring them with them, but he finishes just in time before the Lamborghini. That, unfortunately, is another three nothing win. But we're making the fans happy as three owners of the scenic school bus you are gonna enjoy seeing their racers in round two versus another tough opponent. This Mercedes wagon looks pretty fast, folks. All right, guys, a lot more racing to come at you guys today. And in the next show, so we're going to fill in this, uh, put that in the books. But in your next show, you're going to get the BMW uh, Fire uh, Car, the Telton Tip, one of my favorites. And they're going to go against the Red Flatbed and the Tree Lugger. Then you're also going to see the F550 in the Audi Avant versus the Jurassic Park in the Land Rover 90. All right, until next time, keep this, uh, keep the toy table locked and loaded, and we'll keep those tires pumped and racing. We'll see you next time, guys.